What's up, Bliss Fitz? It's Tyrod Taylor. Welcome to my closet tour. Fashion has always meant the way to express yourself through garments, through pieces, show a different side of your personality. Uh, I'm not very outspoken, but I think it's ways to, to be able to show people who I am and speak through the pieces and the looks that I put on. Come check it out. The closet layout for me uh, was key just because I've accumulated a bunch of clothes over the years. So the layout speaks to that. I mean, you got your bags on this side, accessories. Uh, I'll give you a deeper dive on that. But in general, we have sweats, outerwear on this side and more of your pants, t-shirts, stuff you could throw on daily um, as you get back into your buttons up, short sleeve, long sleeve. And this is more of a, of your lounge, whether it's pool day or just hot summer day, you want to throw some shorts on, this is where I keep a bunch of just my throw ones. Game day outfits is a process, but it's more so of a feeling than anything. Um, I don't plan weeks ahead. Even when I do, when, that's, when it's time, I still go with what I feel. It's times that I take on a home game, two outfits to the game, well, to the hotel the night before, and depending on how I feel the next morning. I don't do it, like I said, weeks in advance. If anything, it's a couple of days in advance. Um, I don't like to sit on the outfit too long. Actually, I have a sweater that I wore in the season, Namicheco sweater. One of the most memorable pieces, I would say. Um, I paired it with these Thug Club jeans. Um, another set from this brand that I actually have on now uh, with the Bottega boots. And I mean, for me, it's all about comfort. Um, obviously, you want to be fashionable, um, stylish, however you want to word it. But for me, it's about comfort. And I think when you're in true comfort, that's where your confidence shows. When I think about essentials, especially for in season, it's a couple of different things. For me, it's sunglasses, uh, which I have a collection here. Jacques Marie Modge. These are Louis, but these are all some of my favorites. Um, it's probably one of my favorite brands. Uh, sunglasses or eyewear. Obviously, jewelry. One of these pieces right here that speak to me the most is this feather right here, which is also a staple for Dior. I have it tattooed on my on my arm as well. Just a reminder of the loved ones still looking down, allowing us to create in this space that they left us at. Obviously a watch, depending on how you blending your colors or if you're doing jewelry for that week. My everyday travel bag is this Bottega Weekender. I just recently added this Speedy um, to my collection. And I would say another essential is a hat. Um, depending on the type of hairstyle that I'm going with, right now I'm rocking these plaits, so I like a beanie. Um, I really don't like glasses with hats, so it's all about the look and what you're trying to accomplish that week. But Louis Vuitton just dropped these beanies. I got greedy and got them in three different colors, but really a Virginia thing, to be honest. It, and I appreciate Pharrell for dropping these. Um, those pop out to me when I think of accessories and essentials. Now we're here in the shoe closet, similar to my clothing section as well. Uh, for me, it's about being visual. On this side, it's more of your designers, uh, from dress shoes to your casual kicks that you can wear out. On this side, I have more of your basketball shoes, I would say, or just my Jordan uh, shoe collection, or part of it. I have some golf shoes up top as well. I only wear Jordans on the golf course. Yeah, I got some old LeBrons. But obviously, growing up, I was born in 89, big fan of Jordan. Uh, big fan of basketball. I played basketball as well, so Jordan was everything, uh, or still is everything to this day. I don't necessarily wear shoes on a day-to-day -day basis, but having a collection um, is something that I always uh, be proud to say that I'm was fortunate to do. Uh, on this side, more of what I wear on a daily. Um, obviously, I'm from Virginia, so you gotta have you some fresh forces. Uh, that's mandatory. Where I'm, where I'm from, we actually call them fat heads, but that's another story for another day. And then over here, you have some of, some more designers, Celine, uh, loafers, Prada loafers. These are probably one of my favorite shoes right here. It's Margiela lace up. 
can't go wrong with a solid black shoe. Speaking of favorites, tied back here between these Bottega runners. Just dropped last year, but favorite of mine. I just gave y'all an inside scoop. In the clothing closet, as well as the shoe closet. I got one more spot that I want to show y'all in the house. Take a look. Told y'all I had a special spot for y'all. Here we are. Inspiration for this room that we're in here comes from many, but one specifically was me in Paris at Kiff store about two or three years ago. Loved the layout of the store. Um, I remember texting back and forth with my interior designer um, to help me with the rest of this house about repurposing this room that was already here. Um, originally it was a golf simulator and I thought it would be a space to, to create. Um, to show like a different side of me. Here in the back we have uh, by Diallo, the clothing line that was just launched this past year. Diallo means, I mean, everything to me. It's my middle name first and foremost, but it's also a line that me and one of my close friends recently dropped last year, Emerging uh, Menswear Line. It speaks to, to who I am, who he is, but it's also something that's been in the works for a lot of years. Um, you've seen us, or seen myself in the fashion space. Well, we have some Diallo pieces over here as well. One of my faves, uh, our jersey. Um, I recently just dropped the, the denim set. And just a lot of appreciation for their creativity. Um, it's Bottega, which is one of my favorite, favorite brands as well, when I'm not wearing my own. This piece right here is special. Uh, obviously, the Louis Vuitton, Virginia's for lovers. Uh, I was fortunate to go this past year to something in the water tour. Um, obviously from Hampton, Virginia, Pharrell being from Virginia Beach. Um, to see this, Virginia's for Lovers, is, which is a statement that we've, that I've heard personally all my life, but to see it on the established brand as Louis Vuitton um, spoke to me and I thought that I had to buy that. This is one of our creative spaces uh, through Diallo that we've created here in this house, but that's not our only space. We also have an office and a creative space out in LA, and I would love you guys to come check it out. Bliss Fits, it's been real. I appreciate y'all coming through, checking out the collection, as well as a couple pieces that mean a lot to me, uh, as well as the Diallo room downstairs. Don't forget to come check us out in LA.